So before summer finally winds down, are there any good summer clothes that you actually need? I have a brand of clothes that I think you should really pay attention to. Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews, of course a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now there are a few clothing brands that really stand out to me as far as great all-rounders that have really great quality and really great clothes that stand out. And Relwin is one of those brands. They have a clothing line that harkens back to classic Americana that is inspired by farm wear or work wear, military, but they have elevated looks and fits, newer modern fabrics, and a really high attention to quality and detail. When you mix that all together, what you get is a line of clothes that looks superb, that is really striking to look at, but is really high quality and also just feels great to wear. Now I mentioned Relwin a few times on the channel and recently I did a video on some of their jackets. Well today I want to return to that Relwin idea and then go more into their summer line of clothes. I'm going to take a couple of core pieces here, form three different looks for you and I'll show you why I think Relwin is making great clothes for the summer. But before we do that, if you like this type of content, if you like fashion, EDC, anything in between, definitely subscribe to the channel. I think you really like it here. And if you like these products, I'll have links down below to Huckberry where you can go find those. There's our affiliate links. Anytime you buy through that, it does help out the channel. And I always appreciate it when you do that. Thank you so much. And while you're there, while you're at Huckberry, definitely go and sign up for their emails. They have some great seasonal sales. And this last half of the year, they're going to have some of their best ones. Their newsletter, also super cool, by the way, really cool. All right, now let's get to the first look here. Now for size reference, I'm 6'1", about 175 pounds. And I'll list all the sizes I got for all the clothes here. All right, so for the first look here, we'll start with the shirt, which is the PK slot polo. Now this is a classic PK cotton polo with some upgrades. It's 100% PK cotton. It has a three button placket reinforced with woven tape and bar tacks. It has horizontal buttonholes, and they say it has precisely placed buttons for a longer lasting placket and buttons. It has woven facings around the collar to help maintain shape. It has a split tail side seam with a three quarter drop in the back. It's pre washed. The color is charcoal, and the size is small. And I love the shirt a lot. I find it fits absolutely perfect on me. I really love how striking this looks, and it is a polo, but it seems elevated. There's a lot more to it. It seems very tailored and trim. I don't normally like polos. I think polos on me especially kind of look frumpy, but this one is very different. Now this one is in size small, and I find this fits me perfect. There's enough length on the back. It's very trim. It's very flattering. I love all the details on here too. The kind of weird buttons and placket that it has, but that's what I love about Relwin. There's just little small details that are quality points that make it seem a little different than other shirts that you get just at the department store. And for the shorts in this look, we're going to pair this with the flyweight flex shorts. Now these are cut from lightweight reverse sateen stretch twill. They're 97% cotton, 3% spandex. They have a gusseted climber's crotch panel for increased movement and comfort. It has black oxidized zippers and snap buttons. It has a shaped waistband for a seamless look. It has quarter top front pockets and stitched through rear pocket bags that stay put. This one has an eight and a half inch inseam. The color is driftwood, which is kind of a white off-white color. And the size is in size 30. Now again, I love of the flyweight stuff. This flyweight fabric I find is fantastic. There's a good bit of stretch and movement. There's a kind of crinkly quality to it that I find real satisfying to wear. You don't really have to keep this ironed or clean. It looks great wrinkled. And that's one thing I like about that too, is you don't have to be fussy about it. These go with everything and they feel great. That gusseted crotch, it really does add a lot of range of movement and it's very comfortable. My only complaint about these shorts in particular is that because these are size 30, they're a little bit small on me, but the size up would be 32, which would be too big. So if I were to air one side or the other, I'm okay with it being a little bit small, especially because these have stretch in it. I just wish that they had maybe a 31. Other than that, I think these are fantastic shorts. All right, let's go to the next look real quick. We'll start with the shirt, and this one is the Jersey Stripe Polo. Now this is somewhere in between a polo and a vintage tee. It's cut from lightweight cotton jersey, which is 100% jersey cotton. It has a three slot button closure with double layer woven cotton tape and bar tacks. There's horizontal buttonholes. It has a 
patch pocket on the front, and they say this is, quote, nearly indestructible cotton that will last for years. We're gonna test that. This has split tail side seams with extra length in the back. This is garment washed for vintage softness. The color is navy with green, and the size is size small. And just like the other PK polo, I find this is just a wonderful polo. I think the PK polo looks maybe just a little bit better on me, but this feels better in just the way that you wear it. The jersey fabric, it really does feel like an old washed vintage tee. It feels fantastic. And if I were to have a polo, I'd prefer jersey knit polos in general. The collar is a little bit different, and um, I'm not exactly sure ex what it is, but it just looks slightly different. But this jersey polo feels fantastic. And for the second look, we're gonna pair it with the Tropic Weave Wind Short. Now these are very casual, almost athletic shorts, and they're super breathable. They're made from 97% cotton, 3% spandex, and they're 165 GSM in density. They have 100% polyester mesh pockets, a mountaineering style crotch gusset for increased movement, elastic draw cord waistband for the perfect fit, zippered side hand pockets, and rear zippered back pocket. It has stitched through hand pockets that stay in place and have a streamlined look. The color is sand, more of a khaki color, and the size is size medium. I I love these shorts. I think these are fantastic. They have a really distinct look to them. They're not something I want to wear with every outfit, that's for sure. They're very casual. Again, as I said, they're almost athletic. They kind of have that hybrid short type of vibe where they're shorts, but they can almost be used as a swimsuit, that type of thing. They have mesh pockets, which kind of signifies that that's the case. Again, these are very comfortable. I love the drawstring waistband. I think that's really cool. I don't know how well the pockets will hold up over time. Mesh pockets like this don't want to hold a lot of really like metallic things over time, they'll break down. So I don't really know how, that, how that'll hold up. But I like that they're sewn in place and they stay put. That's a great touch. I don't really know what the difference is in the fabric between this and the flyweight fabric. It feels very similar. I don't know if it's the same fabric or different, but it's a, a similar type of vibe, but different styling here. And for the last look here, I'm gonna throw in a bonus look that I did in a previous video. And that one is with the flyweight flex blazer and the flyweight flex chinos. But these use the same flyweight flex fabric here. This fly Flyweight Flex Blazer has three buttons on there. It's an unstructured jacket. They're notch lapels. It has a clean finish on the inside. And the size in this blazer is size small. And it looks fantastic. I love this blazer. I don't normally wear a lot of blazers. And when I want to wear one, I kind of just want to look a little bit more casual most of the time. Very laid back. I love the navy in this. You can pull up the collar and that looks great. You can keep it down. That looks good too. It is flexible too, which I really like. It looks very good. It's on the trimmer side, it works great. The flex chinos, also really great. Just like the shorts, they're just a longer version and they look great. These are the same size as well. The size in the chinos is size 30 and I really like them. I think they fit pretty well. Again, they're a little bit on the small side, but they fit pretty well. They don't come in any different inseams, which is one of my big complaints here. I'm a taller guy, so these will work okay on me. <laughs> I need like half inch longer on the inseam. What I love about this look in particular is that this is almost like a suit without having to be a suit. This is very casual. The fabrics are the same type of fabric and same color here, so you can wear these together. Super comfortable and breathable too. You don't have to wear something that's really stuffy like wool or something like that if you're gonna go to a casual outing. You can wear this and it looks great. Now this look isn't necessarily for the summer. Specifically, this is a year round look for the blazer and the chinos, but I want to throw that in there as a bonus look because I think it's so versatile and usable and that's something that I always recommend. Railwind always hits it out of the park. Their styling just hits different. They are so good. I love everything that I've tried from Railwind so far. So unique, so comfortable, so versatile as well. I love Railwind. I hope you give them a try and I hope you get some of these things for the summer, end of summer, or for a future summer. And of course, if you like these again, definitely check them out at the links below. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beastmate Reviews. Bye.